morning. How are you today? I'm good. What about you, Vong? Yeah, I'm good too. Thank you very much. Yeah, okay. So are you ready for the continuation of our lesson today? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, so let me share the screen now for a while. Yes. Okay, I hope you can see the presentation, Bong. Can you see it? Yes, I can see okay, it. Okay, can you see it clearly now? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Can you see it clearly? Clear? Yes, yes. Yeah, is it clear? clear? Okay, very good. Okay, now before we are going to continue the the continuation of our lesson, so allow me first to have a review of what we did yesterday. So we were able to match jobs to their particular um, particular meaning, right? Okay, yes. what are those jobs that we had able to understand yesterday? So we have... Editor. Editor. We have... Assistant. Assistant. And we have... On a business trip. On a business trip. And we were able to listen also to a particular conversation, not a conversation, but a self-introduction of the different um, different jobs, okay, that uh, two people in the in the video, just like Jenny and Rob, were able to introduce themselves, okay, and yeah. were able to answer um, the sentences with a true or false, and you were able to answer them yesterday, okay, so. To continue that one, let's try to listen again and watch the video once more. And we should have to pay attention to the rising and falling of their voices in the sentences. Okay? okay. Wrong? Okay. So let me share the video to you now. Okay, I hope you can see the video, Vong. Can you see it? Yes, I can. Okay, let's try to play them now. Can you hear it? Yes, it's yeah, clear. Okay. Hi, my name's Rob Walker. I live here in London. I work in London, and I write about London. I work for a magazine called London 24-7. I write about life in London, the people, the theater, the restaurants. It's fun. I love London. It's a great city. My name's Jenny Zielinski. I'm from New York, the number one city in the world. I'm the assistant editor of a magazine, New York 24-7. I'm the new assistant editor. But this week, I'm on a business trip to London. This is my first time in the UK. It's very exciting. Okay, so that will be it. So allow me to change the presentation now. Okay, can you see it, Bo? Yes, I can. Yeah, okay. Now, um, in that particular video that we had just watched a while ago, how they they will introduce themselves, Bo? So what do you think? Have you heard about the rising and falling of the intonation of their voices when they speak? Uh. Uh, I I heard uh, uh, the the man had uh, has a 
a British accent and a woman has an American accent. American accent. Okay, why? What do you think would be the difference between the two? Because? Because I heard it that uh, the man say uh, the city and but a woman say editor. Yeah, okay. because uh, the woman have a soft accent. Okay, actually, uh, um, Jennifer is came from New York and then Rob is in London. Okay, so that's why you are right in telling me that Rob has a um, had an, has an accent. Okay, because Rob is in London. Okay, now let's try to have this one. So we are going to read them aloud. Okay, and then please. Uh, I want you to focus on the rising and the falling of the voices. Okay, where are we going to stress? Where are we going to rise? And where are we going to fall? Okay? Okay. Okay. Like, for example, if we are going to say, Hi, my name's Rob Walker. Okay, so where do you think would be the... Uh, the, the, the rising intonation or the stress when I read, hi, my name is Rob Walker. So where do you think would be the stress? You, you, you mean the stress? Yeah, the stress that means the rising, the rising of the voice and yes. then the falling of the voice. Okay. okay. So where do you think would be that you hear that I raise my voice, and where do you think would be that the do you you think that I fall my voice? Like for example, hi, my name's Rob Walker. Uh, the first one. Okay. Hi. Hi. Very good. And then after that, uh, Rob Walker. Rob. Okay. My name's okay. So my uh -huh. name. So my in names. the in okay. the name. Okay. So yes. uh, you, now this is the this is the, the the thing that we should have to remember in rising and falling uh, intonation or voice of our or 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 the way we speak would be the important things that we should have to emphasize. Like for example, verbs, the nouns, the adjectives. Okay, yeah, so okay. the nouns, the verbs, and the adjectives. Okay, so like for example in here, hi, my name's Rob Walker. So there would be falling intonation when I mention about Rob Walker. I, okay, I live here in London, okay? So I emphasize okay. the word lived and then... In London. London, yes, so the word lived and lived. then London. The word live is, is it a, verb? a verb, correct. And the word London is a noun. A noun, very good, okay. And then I work okay. in London and I write I about see. London, okay. So where do you think would be the, the, the stress? It's work and then London, write and then London, okay. I work for a magazine I called... See. Yeah, I work. I work for a magazine called London Twenty Four Seven. Okay. Okay. So again, I I stress in the work, and then another one London, and then Twenty Four Seven. Okay. I write about life in London, the people, the theater, the restaurants. It's fun. I love London. It's a great city. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, I want you to do this one. Okay. Uh, please remember where we stress or we, where we had the so-called rising and the falling uh, of our voices. Okay. Can you read this one, Rob, up to here? Bong, go. Hi, my name's Rob Walker. I live here in London. I work in London and I write about London. I work for a magazine called London 24-7. I write about life in London. 
the people, the theater, the restaurant, it's fun. I love London. It's a great city. Very good. Okay, good job, Bong, huh? So you sound like a foreigner, okay? You sound like an English speaker now, okay? Okay, what about Jenny? Let's try to emphasize Jenny. Hi, my name's Jenny Selensky. I'm from New York, the number one city in the world. I'm the assistant editor of a magazine, New York 24 7. I'm the new assistant editor, but this week I'm on a business trip to London. This is my first time in the UK. It's very exciting. Okay, can you do it the same? Yes. Hi, my name's Jenny Jelinski. I'm from New York, the, the number one city in the world. I'm, I'm an assistant editor of a magazine, New York 24-7. I'm a new assist assistant editor, but this week I'm on a business trip to London. This is my first time in UK. In, in the UK, it's very exciting. Okay, very good. Now, if we happen to see exclamation point, that means we should have to give it a strong emotion or feeling. Like, for example, it's very exciting. Okay, so yeah, so we have to have the rising intonation of our voice in the word very. Okay, it's very exciting. So there would be a strong emotion because we have an exclamation point. Exclamation. Okay, Bong. So this one, we call this one as an exclamation point. That means exclamation point. That means to show strong emotion. Like for example, excitement. Like for example, sadness. So there would be feelings in it. In this case, she is very excited. That's why we have to emphasize it's very exciting. Okay? Okay. Okay, very good. Now, let's try to converse together. You will be Rob and I will be Jenny. Okay, you first, Bong. Yes. Hi, my name's Rob Walker. I live here in London. I work in London and I write about London. I work for a magazine called London 24-7. I write about life in London. The people, the theater, the restaurant, it's fun. I love London. It's a great city. Okay, again, it's fun. Okay, it's fun. It's, it's fun. fun. Okay, it's fun because there would be an exclamation point. Okay, hi, my name's Jenny Selensky. I'm from New York, the number one city in the world. I'm the assistant editor of a magazine, New York 24-7. I'm the new assistant editor, but this week I'm on a business trip to London. This is my first time in the, in the UK. It's very exciting. Okay? okay? Okay, good job, Bong. Okay, now this time we will be knowing useful expressions. These expressions are very important because you may use this one uh, in your work in communication. Okay, let's say for, for example, in introducing yourself. So how are you going to do that? So of course, if you wanted to introduce about your work, so you may say, I work for a, let's say for example, if you work for a company, so you have to say, I work for a company. If you work in a hospital, same, I work for a hospital. If you work for a magazine, you have also to say, I work for a magazine. If you work for a startup, you may also say the same. And you have to continue, called, and what's the name of that company? Let's say, for example, I work for a company at Hello English. Okay? So I work for a company, or let, let me say, I work for an ESL company called Hello English. Okay? 
Okay, now it's your turn to say that one. So where do you work? I work for a company called ABC. Very good, okay? And there's another one, okay? okay. If you wanted to emphasize your company, okay, the address of your company, so you may say, I work at, okay, the name of your company, and in what particular district, city, or country. So you may say, I work at Hello English in, okay, let's say, for example, if I am there in Vietnam, so I have, I, I have to say, I work at Hello English in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, okay? Okay. okay, now it's your turn, Bong. I work at ABC Company in Dubai. Okay, very good. And if you wanted to emphasize that you are on a business trip, so you are going to say, I'm on a business trip to Vietnam. Okay, a place. I'm on, the, uh, I'm on a business trip to the United Kingdom, okay? I'm on a business trip to England. I'm on a business trip to the Philippines. It's your turn. I'm on a business trip to Ho Chi Minh City. Very good, okay? Now, what are the useful expressions that we learn in here, Vong? So we have three. What are those? Uh, uh, let's see that. Uh, a company, name of company. Okay, so you have to say... I work for a, a, a company called ABC. Very good. And if you I wanted work. to emphasize the name of your company together with the address, so you are going to say... I work at ABC company in Dubai. Very good. So if you wanted to emphasize only the company, so you just have to say, I work at ABC, okay? ABC company. And then if you wanted to include the address, so you have to say, I work in, okay? okay. In Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, okay? Okay. And then last but not the least, I'm on and trip to. So if we are talking of on, it should be a business, okay? Or let's say, for example, I'm on a seminar, okay? I'm on a seminar. I'm on a business trip to Malaysia or whatsoever. Okay, do you have any questions with this, Vong? Mm, I heard something. Yes. You said the... Example, I'm on a business trip to the UK. Mm -hmm. In the United Kingdom. In the United Kingdom. In the United Kingdom. Okay, I, I'm on a business trip to the United Kingdom. And uh, another say, I'm on a business trip to England, not there. Ah, yeah. What I'm a business they... trip in England, okay? So sometimes we have to use also in, okay, and we can also use to, right? But the the the, the correct one would be it's to instead of in, okay? Uh, you may also say that I'm on a business trip to a hotel maybe, right? Because it's a place, okay? okay? I'm on a business trip to... Uh, let's say, for example, to a, um, uh -huh, I'm a business trip to, yeah, something, it's a place, okay? If, uh, if, if you wanted to mention about that place, okay, Vong? Okay. Okay, but sometimes in English, we can also use the in, the okay? In. Yeah, we can also replace to with the in, but the, the, the most proper one would be two because we are talking about the place, okay? okay. Yeah. We can use the in if we are talking of district, we are talking of a city, or we're talking of a country. That's why you hear me saying, I'm on a business trip in mm. London because London is a country, right? Okay. 
Okay, you can also say I'm on a business trip in Hujimin City because Hujimin is sit a city. Okay? <laughs> yes. Okay, but if you wanted to replace it with a two, it can also be. And that would be most proper. Okay, okay. Bong? Okay. Okay. Do you have any questions so far? No. No it's more. Typical. Yeah, okay. Now, in introducing ourselves, so what are the useful expressions that we can be able to use? Of course, first thing to do, we have to do greetings. the greetings. And mm -hmm. then you have to mention your mm -hmm. name. So let's say, for example, what do you think would be the most proper greetings that we should have to use, Vong? Greetings. Okay, actually, there would be, um, there would be so-called polite greetings. And there would also be a not so polite greeting. So when do we use the word, the, the greetings that is polite? Mm, greeting polite. Okay, yes, I have uh, to write it here. Huh? So when we say polite, that means it's the, it's, uh, the, the, the manner is respectful, right? Respectful. Res yeah, so that means you have to use polite um, polite greetings if it's your boss, okay? Um, okay. Yes, if you're talking about your boss, mm. talking about a client, a client okay? a boss. talking about something that is a customer. A customer, a client. Yes. Customer. Okay, a client, a boss, Okay, or a customer. That's, you have to use polite expression. And what are these polite expressions? Like, for example, uh, friend. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, when we are going to say about greetings. Okay, let's, for example, nice to meet you. Nice. Okay, yes. It's my pleasure to meet you. It's right? Yes, so those are more polite greetings, but you can use not so polite greetings like, for example, hi, okay? The one that we are talking about in here, hi. Uh -huh. So why is it they just use hi? Because uh -huh. they, they just introduce themselves to no one, right? So maybe they are just filming. That's why they just only use hi instead of nice to meet you. Okay? Nice. Because they, they, they're not talking to people, right? They're not talking to someone. So that's why they just have to say hi. Okay. Right? But uh, if you are going to talk to someone or you're going to talk to a boss, to a client, to a customer, or it's all about business, so you have to use the more polite greetings. Like, for example, nice to meet you. It's, it's, it's a pleasure to meet you. Okay? Okay. So that is what you're going to say. But if it is just only your friend, that friend is you already known for the longer time or for the longest period of time. So you may use hi. Okay? Hi. That is just only not so polite expression or greetings okay so let's say for example nice to meet you my name is harji okay? okay so greetings and then state your name and then after that one what would be the next question of course you may ask where are you from okay. where do you live okay what do you think would be the difference between the two in here bong where uh, are you from I, and where do you live? I think where are you from that uh, that uh, the, the country you born and where do you live? Maybe in, in, uh, in from now you live in here. You live uh, in where? Uh, maybe in the future you you live and you come back. No, it's not. It's not uh, the position. Okay. Just a position 
from yeah. now you live. Yeah, actually, <clears throat> you have a point, okay? Why? You are right when you say where you wh where are you from. That means you are just going to tell uh, not so specific information about where you live. Okay, mm -hmm. not a complete address. Maybe you just have to inform uh, that person that you live in who in in Vietnam. Okay, in a country, right? Mm -hmm. So where are you from? I'm from Vietnam, right? Or where do you live? So I lived in maybe it's a particular city in vietnam ho chi minh city vietnam or if you wanted it to be more particular so you just have to mention about maybe the province that where you lived right exactly. okay you can also state in here when uh, when the question is where do you live you can state your complete address if you trusted that person right Okay. okay, but if you're talking of where are you from, you just have to mention about the maybe the city or maybe the the country where you're from. Okay? okay. Okay. Next, after that one, you have to introduce your job. So, in introducing your job, what are the useful expression again that we are going to use? Work. Yes, I work for. I work at. I work in. Okay, so those are the useful expressions in introducing your job. Okay, and where do you work? Of course, again, go back in here. Where do you work? I work at. I work in. Okay, bong. And then more information like your hobby, your interests, etc. Or your likes and dislikes maybe. Okay, bong. Okay, now. It's time for me to introduce yourself using the following guide. Okay? Okay. Okay, let, let's say, for example, I am a client. Okay, I am a new client. So, you are going to introduce yourself to me. Okay? okay. Greetings first. State okay. your name, where you're from, where you lived, your job. Where do you work? Informations like hobby, interest, likes or dislikes. Okay, go, Bong. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, my name's Bong. Oh, nice to meet you, Bong. Where uh, are you from? I'm from Vietnam. Oh, where do you live, by the way? And uh, now I'm living near Ho Chi Minh City. Oh, nice to nice place. Okay, now would you kind of tell me about your job? Where do you work, Bong? Uh, I work at the company called ABC. Uh, I, I work at uh, I work in uh, Ho Chi Minh City. Okay, very good. Okay, now what do you think would be your hobbies, your interests, Bong? Mm, I lot I have a lot of hobby, but my hobbies is I'm really like reading manga, Japanese oh. manga. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Okay, actually, me too. Um, I love reading a lot of books. Okay, okay? so maybe we we do have the same uh interest also. Okay. Okay. So for that, Bong, nice to meet you also. So welcome here on um, on our business trip. Okay. okay. So very good, Bong. Huh? So that is how you are going to do if you wanted to introduce yourself. Let's say, for example, okay, you have a new group of employees. Okay, because you're handling you're handling people, right? Okay. okay, so remember the, 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 the useful expressions on how you are going to introduce yourself. Because, of course, before you are going to instruct on what to do, okay, for that particular new employees, it's very important for you to introduce yourself to them. Am I right? Yeah. Yes, yeah. so therefore use this one wrong okay 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 so 
on Monday again, so we will be going to continue for a free talk. <coughs> ah, actually, we done this one already just a while ago, right? So we did this one already, so we will not going to tackle this one anymore as a free talk. Let's move on to our lesson number two next meeting. Okay, Bong? Okay, do you have any questions so far? And I have one quick question. Yeah, sure. Uh, 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 today I had a meeting with my boss and my mm -hmm. uh, this kind of uh, is uh, does it uh, uh, does it impolite what I'm saying when I say goodbye for the meeting? That's I'm I'm say, I said uh, bye bye guys. It's, ah okay. It's, it's not impolite. Yeah, <laughs> actually, if you are in a meeting, because a meeting is a business, right? Okay, so therefore, uh, you shouldn't do that one, okay? Because that would be, we, we cannot say that that's impolite, okay? Because yeah. maybe that's a friendly way, because you are just friendly, your boss is friendly, you yes. are friends together, but yes. again, remember, you are in a meeting. So if you are in a meeting there would be the proper positions. So that's your boss and you are the subordinate. So you should have to follow that one. That, of course, you should have to end up the meeting with uh, a, a polite ending of a meeting. So what do you think would be that the, 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 the correct way on how to end the meeting? Bye-bye, mm. everyone. Okay. Is that Okay, actually, there would be proper quorum for that, right? In a proper yeah. meeting. So the meeting is adjourned, okay? You may now go to your proper places or go. you may now go to your proper work stations and uh, we'll see you again on the next meeting. So that would be the proper one, okay? So okay. the meeting, or you may say also the meeting has ended. So thank you so much for your participation. And I hope that on our next meeting together, you will going to come here on time. Thank you and have a nice day, everyone. Bye-bye. So that is how you are going to say it. Okay? okay. So that is more formal, actually. Okay. Do not say that's impolite. That, that's impolite, huh? Because that's a friendly way. Okay. okay. That's a friendly way. Uh, maybe because you know your boss already, uh, your boss would be your friend already. So that's why it's normal to have like that. But of course, again, that's a business. So business is a business. So therefore, business is a formal gathering. Meeting is a formal gathering. So therefore, everything will be more formal. Okay? okay. Bong? Okay. Yes. Okay. So what have you learned today, Bong? Mm, I learned a lot, a lot about uh, interview myself, interview um, yourself. Uh, I, 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 where I work, uh, what I work, and what is your job, right? So job. useful expressions, okay, <laughs> that that would be very helpful for you to introduce yourself, okay? Okay, so thank you so much for your time today, Vong. So we'll see you again on see Monday. You. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Okay, bye-bye. See you. See you too. Bye-bye.